Okay guys, so here's the show, uh, finishing up AMS Nationals Las Vegas, and I want to just give a quick video, it's actually a dirty airbrush, uh, but there was a lot of questions, misunderstanding how, what's the difference between two of the coreless compressors, what do we call them, or coreless airbrush, we have in stock. So this is our first unit we received in 2019, this one a little improved, but it's basic same principle. You have the airbrush, which technically just pressing the bottom, it's a little bottom there on the in this compressor, so when you press the trigger down, it starts working by just pressing this bottom up. And you pull back, you have a paint out. So that's what I can do, I can just draw a little line. If you can see, there's no pulsation, so it can go uh, go from really nine, tiny to a little wider. Uh, wall pressure, of course, is around 15 to 20 psi, depends on the airbrush you put on. Standard comes with a 0.3 millimeter airbrush. And this is the whole kit you get for $65 right now, maybe go up because of the, all the craziness with shipping. But this is the CA, I think CA04 and CA03, there's two different colors, so black and white, they're absolutely the same. Sometimes we have discount one or another, it depends how, how much you sell it. Uh, but this is, this is basically your cordless airbrush. We have newer model, which I'll... Uh, so imagine there's a green grex disappears and you have just hose and compressor, that's what you get. So there's a compressor with air hose. Uh, why it's sold without airbrush? Just because you can connect it to any existing airbrush. If you have one already, you have uh, GSI Creos, you have Sparmax, you have whatever you have there, Grex. You can go directly either to compressor or using air hose. What advantage using air hose? Of course, because you get no weight in your hand. It's all, uh, you know, you can put it whatever in your pocket on a belt, hold it in your hand, but you lose a little pressure. Of course, pressure drops in the in air hose, I think. Like, what is it, free fit? Probably. Uh, but. Yeah, so I can do the same thing. I can do a little tiny line. This is Greg's. Or I can do heavier line. And actually, as you can see, it goes a little heavier because it's literally have a little more power contained in it. Or I can also just turn it off. This is bottom. Drop the airbrush hose. Just disconnect it completely and physically drop it. It's important. Don't miss the step. Drop it on the floor. Just like that. Nah, I don't want it. Put the airbrush directly the compressor. This this adds some weight of course, you get some weight, but if you're doing like murals, that's what people like, you know, you can go upstairs, don't worry about getting your own, oh man, I got paint all over my plate, uh, don't worry about getting a hose attached to something, and turn it on, do the same line, and can get a little bit harder coverage. I mean, it's not big difference in pressure, but it does have a little more of uh, air put this way. So both compressors are going to run 45 minutes continuous spray. So if I open a, a starter compressor, and as you can see, you can hear, it stops automatically. So I press the trigger, it starts. I release the trigger, it, it's, uh, it stops. This have different technology. So it actually have the pressure sensor, believe it or not, believe it, uh, built in the small compressor. And same thing with the hose. If I have a hose attached, I run the airbrush, it runs, I stop, it stops. Saves you time and uh, battery. Uh, 45 minutes continuous spray. So if I pull a trigger like that, 45 minutes of spray continuously, any of them. The small one, which I had before, or this one, which is a little longer compressor, but uh, more functionality from it, I would say. So it depends on what you need. So if you buy the first airbrush, you get this, because it has a whole kit for 65 bucks, good, good deal. If you have some existing airbrush already, I would not recommend using more than 0.3 with it, but uh, technically you can try using 0.4 if you have hard and stand back. Uh, but yeah, you can use directly with airbrush or with little house, drop it back on the floor. Hope it was helpful, just a little explanation what's the difference between them. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys, thanks for watching. See ya.